And then, and, and help me if I have this uh, right or wrong. I'm here to Mary, Married to Paul Simon. Oh, that's right. Right. And... <laughs> Was there ever a love story in Hollywood more intriguing than that of Carrie Fisher and Harrison Ford? The world knew Carrie Fisher as Princess Leia, the sharp-tongued, quick-witted heroine of Star Wars, but behind the scenes, her life was filled with the kind of romantic turmoil that could rival any script. Today, we're taking a closer look into her relationships, especially the one with the man she called the love of her life. Early Life and First Relationships Carrie Fisher was born into Hollywood royalty, the daughter of legendary actress Debbie Reynolds and popular singer Eddie Fisher. Growing up in the spotlight, Carrie was no stranger to the highs and lows of love and fame. Her parents' tumultuous relationship, marred by Eddie Fisher's highly publicized affair with Elizabeth Taylor, left an indelible mark on her views of romance and commitment. This early exposure to the complexities of adult relationships likely influenced Carrie's own romantic entanglements throughout her life. As a teen, she began to experience love for herself. She described early relationships as intense and often overwhelming. These first experiences were, by her own admission, both thrilling and confusing. She spoke candidly about the impact her parents' troubled marriage had had on her. She once remarked, I saw how love could be this beautiful, terrible thing that can take over your life. Romance with Harrison Ford now nearly 40 years after the first film was released, Carrie's revealed she had an affair with her co-star Harrison what? Ford during the making of the movie. That Carrie Fisher's romance with Harrison Ford is perhaps one of Hollywood's most fascinating and long-kept secrets. The two met on the set of Star Wars in 1976, at a time when Carrie was just 19 and Harrison was 33, already a married man with two children. Their affair began during the filming of the first movie, a whirlwind romance that was kept hidden from the public eye for decades. It wasn't until the release of Carrie's memoir, The Princess Diarist, in 2016, that the world learned about the relationship that had been as passionate as it was fleeting. In her memoir, Carrie described their time together with humor and poignancy, capturing the intensity of their connection and the deep feelings she had for Harrison. She confessed, it was so intense. It was Han and Leia during the week and Carrie and Harrison during the weekend. This affair, though short-lived, left a lasting impact on her, and she openly admitted that she fell hard for Harrison during their time together. Despite the brevity of their relationship, it was clear Harrison held a special place in her heart, one that she carried with her for the rest of her life. Carrie's revelations about their romance were met with a mix of surprise and nostalgia from fans who had long speculated about their off-screen chemistry. For Carrie, this was more than just a fleeting dalliance. It was a significant chapter in her life, one that she looked back on with both fondness and a hint of melancholy. Reflecting on why she chose to reveal the affair after so many years, she said, quote, I was so inexperienced, but I trusted something about him. He was kind. This glimpse into her vulnerability, coupled with the undeniable attraction between the two, adds a layer of depth to the characters they portrayed on screen, and to the enduring legacy of Star Wars. She talked about the process of letting Harrison know she was going to reveal the affair in her book. He said I'd found the diaries and I was probably going to publish them, and he sort of just said, lawyer. Is he being funny? He was being funny, yeah. yes. I'm sure he doesn't like it. I'm quite sure by now he really doesn't like it. Yeah. I'm liking it less now. <laughs> Relationship with Mark Hamill While Carrie Fisher's romance with Harrison Ford captivated the public, her relationship with Mark Hamill, her other Star Wars co-star, was built on a foundation of deep friendship and mutual respect. Carrie and Mark's relationship was often the subject of speculation, with many wondering if their on-screen chemistry, as Luke and Leia, extended into real life. But both were quick to clarify that the relationship remained strictly platonic. In his tribute to Carrie after her passing, Mark Hamill reflected on their bond, saying, quote, Carrie and I occupied a unique area in each other's lives. It was like we were siblings, not real siblings, but siblings in a sense that we're brought up together in a very strange way. This sense of kinship, rather than romance, defined their relationship, and it was one of the few constants in Carrie's often turbulent life. Carrie spoke fondly of Mark, appreciating the ease and comfort of their friendship. 
Mark is one of my favorite people, she once said. He always made me laugh, and we had such a great time together. Their camaraderie was evident to anyone who saw them together, whether on set or at various Star Wars events over the years. As time went on, the two remained close, often sharing affectionate banter and reminiscing about their time on the Star Wars sets. When Carrie passed away, Mark's grief was palpable. He described her as irreplaceable and one of a kind. Other Significant Relationships Carrie Fisher's love life was marked by several significant and complex relationships. One of the most notable was her marriage to the legendary musician Paul Simon. The two met in the late 70s, and their relationship was as passionate as it was tumultuous. They married in 1983, but the union was short-lived, lasting just under a year. Despite the divorce, Carrie and Paul continued to be drawn to one another, maintaining an on-and-off relationship for years afterward. Carrie often spoke candidly about her relationship with Paul Simon, acknowledging both the deep love they shared and the challenges that ultimately led to their separation. Paul and I were together for 12 years, off and on, she once revealed, highlighting the intensity of their bond. Simon's song, Hearts and Bones, is widely believed to be about their relationship. Despite the difficulties, they remained friends with a connection that endured long after their romantic relationship ended. She talked to David Letterman about the experience of having the famous singer-songwriter compose songs about her. Yes, he did. And so, uh, you know, I like to say that, like, it is kind of trippy, you know, 15, 20 years down the line to turn on the radio and hear yourself complained about in song. <laughs> Another significant relationship in Carrie's life was with Brian Lord, a powerful Hollywood agent. Together, they had a daughter, Billy Lord, who went on to follow in her mother's footsteps as an actress. Carrie's relationship with Brian was deeply important to her, particularly because of their shared role as parents. But the relationship ended when Brian came out as gay, a revelation that Carrie later discussed with her trademark humor and honesty. She quipped, quote, He told me later that I turned him gay by sleeping with him. Despite the end of their romantic relationship, they remained close friends, co-parenting Billy with love and mutual respect. The Circumstances of Her Death The world was shocked and saddened by the sudden death of Carrie Fisher on December 27, 2016, just days after she suffered a heart attack on a flight from London to Los Angeles. Carrie was returning from a book tour, promoting her memoir, The Princess Diarist, which had once again thrust her into the spotlight with its candid revelations about her life and loves. The news of her passing at age 60 left fans and colleagues alike mourning the loss of a woman who had touched so many lives with her wit, warmth, and unflinching honesty. Carrie's death came at a time when she had found a new sense of peace and purpose, both personally and professionally. In the years leading to her passing, she had embraced her role as a mental health advocate, openly discussing her struggles with bipolar disorder and addiction. Her courage in speaking out about these issues resonated with many, earning her a new generation of admirers who appreciated her candidness and humor in the face of adversity. Quote, You're only as sick as your secrets, she once said, a mantra that guided her in sharing her experiences with the world. In the days following her death, tributes poured in from around the globe. Fans shared stories of how Carrie's work, both on and off screen, had inspired them, while fellow actors and industry figures remembered her as brilliant, fearless, and a generous soul. Mark Hamill expressed his sentiment, saying, quote, No words devastated. Carrie's mother, Debbie Reynolds, who was herself an icon of Hollywood's golden age, passed away the very next day, reportedly from a stroke. The tragic timing of their deaths underscored the deep bond between mother and daughter, and many viewed Debbie's passing as a final act of love, unable to bear the loss of her beloved daughter. Now it's time to hear from you. What's your favorite memory of Carrie Fisher? Let us know in the comments section below.